Let the problems begin. So it doesn't matter which RV you buy, they're all gonna at some point have some type of issue. Um, I just found out that our RV that we have is leaking from the rear here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it in for service. We obviously still have warranty. And this year we're gonna use this thing a bunch. Like we sold our rental RV because we figured it was just too much work for us. We don't wanna work that hard. And now that we don't have any more, we get to go camping a lot more too. That's the other issue. We weren't going camping because we were too busy with that. So on the back of the rig here, you guys know these RVs have two piece showers. And from the bottom of it, I noticed that it was leaking out the back here. So we were dumping the RV. I normally fill up the gray water tanks with water. And as we were spraying down the walls and you know cleaning up the shower, I noticed water was leaking down the back here. So this is pretty much part one of our nice Alliance Delta RV. We love it so far. It has a lot of great amenities. It's built well for the most part, but it's an RV still. I already aired up the tires and I just checked the RV. So everything's good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get down the road and we're gonna get this thing put into service and then we're gonna pretty much give you guys an update at some point. We are pretty much all hooked up, ready to go. Let's go ahead and see what they say. And I got wifey coming with me today. Let's say hello to the camera. Hi. All right. So, uh, I told you it was a bad idea to get a travel trailer. This has only happened because we have a travel trailer. We should got a fifth wheel, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Like I said, guys, if you're looking at RVs, just don't get upset. Just know that RVs are not like cars. Even though cars will have issues for sure, RVs are 100% going to have problems. I don't care what the brand is. I don't care how well you maintain it. They all pretty much have the same components and they're all going to be prone to some type of failure at some point. It's just unfortunate. We've currently had this Alliance Delta for 90 days. We bought it in the winter time basically. We bought it like at the end of November. So um, we took it on a 3,000 plus mile trip to Indiana and we pretty much touched and used everything this RV has to offer. We filled up the water tank and we traveled with that, which I always recommend. I've heard of people buying new RVs and on the first camping trip, if they are going dry camping, the tank will literally fall out. And I've heard that quite a bit from Grand Design RVs, Keystone, J. Cole. I've heard a lot of people discuss this to, with me at campgrounds or I've seen it online happen too on forums. But uh, yeah, we have a 45 gallon tank. And so we use that, the water pump, we use pretty much everything in the kitchen, it's maybe with the exception of the oven. I don't think we fired it on the oven, but we have used it to make sure it worked when we did our walkthrough. We used pretty much every plug inside of it. But the RV is leaking from the shower. And I think it's because they use these two-piece showers and they probably forgot to put something down there to block off so that the water drains out of the, uh, the drain, basically, in the shower basically I don't know how to explain it but yeah it's leaking outside the RV so they must have forgot to install something also we have the quick connects for the water on the outside they have one on the rear they have two on the front inside the basement area the one in the rear though is really hard to get it to connect but it needs to be replaced or, or adjusted somehow and I don't think that that part is serviceable so it might need to be replaced so apart from that the RV's been great it's been easy to tow we don't use the weight distribution hitch with this truck and I know a lot of people were telling me that you should and I just don't really see that we need that even when we were in almost 45 mile an hour winds traveling cross country I never felt like I needed something extra to make this trailer perform well and it's because of how big this truck is it's because of how heavy this truck is that trailer and this truck weigh the same amount of weight but if you're towing something like this with a half ton yeah, you're gonna have to use a weight distribution hitch. And this might be too big for a half ton truck. I'll be honest, like, it's heavy. But I wanna address something that a few people said in one of my videos. People were confused to why I was traveling with a full water tank. Now, when you're traveling cross country, anything can happen. We didn't plan for any campgrounds. And from what I've noticed, campgrounds have become more uh, populated with full timers, right? So 
in any event, if we have any issues, we know that for at least a whole week we'll have enough water to survive, whether it be to cook, whether it be to wash, whatever. So that's why I always travel with full tanks. Also, the weight of this trailer is probably around, I think I, I showed you guys how much it weighed fully loaded, but I wanna say it was like 85 or 8,800 pounds. This trailer is like 5,000 pounds less than what our fifth wheel was. So 45 gallons of water is not going to affect my fuel economy. It's just not. And like right now, I did reset the trip on here because I want to see what I can get. But I'm willing to bet you it won't make a difference because when we traveled, actually when we towed this trailer home for the first time, unloaded, uh, it got about the same when it was fully loaded. So 45 gallons of water is not gonna hurt your fuel coming. Now if you're towing with a gas truck, maybe a half ton, I would say that might affect it because yeah, this is a heavy trailer already. So with that being said, I would probably do that with a half ton. That's why I like to buy bigger trucks, but I don't see a difference in fuel economy with the weight of these trailers with diesel HDs, I just don't. So I just want to answer that question because it was something that people were asking me. But we should be at the dealership in about 30 minutes or so. And then, like I said, I'll let you guys know what they say. And I'll do a part two to let you guys know what they fixed and what to look out for. So if you're doing your walkthroughs, you probably want to have the dealer fill the fresh water tank up or hook up to water at the dealership and spray at the bottom. I don't know why manufacturers just don't go to just a one-piece shower. Like, it's available, and I might ask them when we're there. Actually, you know, we'll do that. Let's see how much it would cost to get a one-piece shower. Like, I would be interested to see, because they have to pay for the labor to take it apart anyways. So what, what, if it's a little bit more money to have a one-piece shower, that way we don't have this issue again, I'm okay with that. So we'll, we'll ask about that, and we'll give you guys an update, okay? Oh yeah, I almost forgot one last thing. I did get my mirror fixed. If you guys don't remember when I picked up my truck and I towed the fifth wheel for the first time, I noticed that our mirror would not extend for tow mode. So if you didn't watch the video, we basically had one of those trucks where they forgot to plug it in. But they gave me a new mirror and I explained that in that video. But so far this AT4X has been great. It really does tow this trailer perfectly. I mean this is probably too light for this truck honestly like it almost doesn't feel fun to tow because it's just not even back there and hence why I don't really feel the need to get a weight distribution hitch but apart from that this truck has been great um, when it's in tow haul mode I like the way the transmission feels I will be doing some updates on this transmission I had some issues so you might want to go back and watch that video because I did discuss it in detail we just dropped off the RV um, I did ask for a quote for that one piece shower if it's possible for them to do one um if it's less than a couple hundred dollars i might actually do it for real i think it might be worth it because it looks nicer and it would pretty much not have that little divider at the bottom now like i said the reason why it's leaking is because they forgot to install something under the floor so that's why it's leaking out the back it shouldn't be doing that so hopefully we get it all squared away i'll let you guys know an update once we get it all done so be sure to stay tuned to the channel make sure you're subscribed with bell notification on see you guys soon